Without a doubt in my mind, the 703 is the best tier 8 premium heavy and quite possibly the best tier 8 premium in the game. Now, I can already tell what you're saying. You're saying, oh, the Skoda's OP or the BZ is broken. These tanks are just all around worse than the 703. Sure, they have a few aspects that might be better. The Skoda has its clip potential. The BZ has its insane armor capability. But all around, the 703 is better. All the Skoda has is that clip. Everything else, the armor, the mobility, it's all worse than the 703. Same with the BZ. It's sure, its armor is better. But even while using the rocket boosters, it's barely as fast as the 703. And when without it, it's completely slow. The gun on the BZ is also completely unreliable, and you'll find yourself missing a lot of shots. You can see the 703 can absolutely demolish even a T95 when in the right position. One of the main things that makes the 703 just so good is its ability to brawl and bully the enemy tanks. This tank is quite possibly the best brawler at tier 8, so you are able to just go in and completely demolish the enemies. You can see in this clip, I am almost completely alone on this flank, yet I am so confident to go up and push them because I knew my tank was able to handle it. Why am I alone? Eh, it's okay, the 703 is OP. In this position, I can look at the enemy team comp and see that there aren't going to be an overwhelming amount of people here. So I can play this position and make sure my team doesn't lose this flank. So I'm making it look like there's a lot of us. When in reality, there is only me. Don't worry, you're, you're a god gamer. In an OP tank. Now in this position, I can see that this E5 shot first, so I'm able to just sit here and aim in. <laughs> Bro, I'm just shooting on standard ammo. Now I can see the Skoda coming in to help me, and I decide it's time to push him. Yeah. I got him to back up. I shot the Brigetto once and then he did that. Oh, I high rolled, thank god. Thagden, do I take the chance and double sh- Oh! Alright, I do have the Skoda with me. Okay, Skoda, you do not need a suicide, though. Like, that is counterproductive. Skoda, you're on reload! Why are you pushing? What is that guy doing? Oh, God. Uh, I just left. You know, I wanted damage on him, but he's gonna go for the Skoda instead of me. Ugh. Whatever. Ha <laughs> ha! What the fuck is that 3D style? Bro, what is that 3D style? This obviously wasn't like the craziest damage game, but this really showcases just how good this tank is at bullying the enemies and there's nothing they can do against me. This is actually what allows this tank to get crazy games fairly consistently. Alright, next up I'm going to show you guys just how good this tank is at controlling corners and using its armor effectively. Look at this. BZ using his rocket boosters and he's barely as fast as me in a 703. It's because the BZ sucks ass. They're all too scared to, sh to poke me, really? Super Pershing is not a good tank, if you were wonder. Neither is the Skoda. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention. This tank's ammo is actually quite good. It has very high shell velocity APCR, and it also has very high pen heat. That's way... I'm glad I noticed that. That's why you always need to look at your map. Oh, now I'm fighting another tank that's actually good. Yeah, he just packs off. <laughs> like, the main complaints against this tank that people have... Okay. You know... <laughs> Fuck this game, bro. I was just about to compliment the gun. I was just about to compliment this tank's gun, and then I hit- then that- that happens, bro. Yes, yes, poke. Yo! I- You compliment a gun in this game, and it will stop working for you. Thank you, PZ, for not- like- he would have been safe where he was anyway. Dumbass. Okay, thank you, Wargaming. I thought, he's a one-shot. 
Let me just go in there and get him. Nope. Yo, this guy's like actually not smart. I wasn't. Uh, I'm actually just stunned right now. He poked that. He. <laughs> he fucking poked that. Also, that's another great thing about the 7 3. Poke a corner, double shot, and it allows you to go back quicker because of the recoil. Really tiny ass house. Move. Nobody's in the corner or we'd be dead right now. Oh, got the press seat. I could have aimed that. That's actually just my bad. Skill issue. Free spotting though. Guns in the way! Yo! Yeah. Oh, No damage for Leo. Fuck artillery. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Please bounce again. No! He hits the last shot! <laughs> I have a feeling I know who it is. Oh, she's sitting right beside that, uh, Pajetta. Ace tanker? Damn. I don't know if that deserved an ace, but I will take it. One of the biggest downsides with the 703 is its lack of gun depression, but this game is going to show you that even when you're on a map that usually requires gun depression, you could still make it work and have a very good game, even if your team just completely loses the game. Oh my god. Wait, actually, what the fuck? We have two holdowns, right? I don't know if I'd call this really a holdown. They have the Sante Renegade T32, T32, T34. What the fuck? Oh no, it's okay guys, it's okay guys. We have an AMBT. He's gonna carry the fuck out of this game. He's gonna go hold down and fight those guys. Yeah, never mind, never mind. We're fine, we're fine. We got the AMBT, boys. Stand still. Damn it. This is an extremely intelligent T-34. I want to push up to here. Oh, the timing though. All right, there's a score back there. He went so high, he went so high. Yes. I thought he still got our car. Also, I'd like to point out, he's in quite possibly the best tier eight uh, Ridgeline tank. And he went to fucking there. He gave away his Ridgeline. That was a decent trade. I don't want to get shot by this, though. Nice. Alright, so I know the Scorpions are there. I know the Scorpions are there, so I know I can't push him. He's just going to keep poking me until he finds. Which I'm okay with. Alright, Scorpion's gone. That other Scorpion hasn't been lit, and I didn't get shot by him, so I'm just going to go. Alright, Scorpion's there, and oh my god, RNG and artillery, wow. And I'm gonna take one from this guy. No, he didn't choose me, thank you. Fuck artillery, bro. What do I do now? Uh, cry. I'm gonna get pushed by the 703. That tracked him very good. I'm gonna take one from him. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna take one from the Scorpion, which is really bad. No, the double track. GG me. Yeah, yeah, GG me. <sighs> if it wasn't for the double track, I could have won that. Not won the game, won that fight. <clears throat> the fucking distribution bro i got double the damage of the next guy all right next up i'm going to show you guys how this tank is against higher tier vehicles and how it fares in like a last stand when your entire team's dead and you're just trying to push out damage play too safe i survived on full health that game 257 has good side armor they say <laughs> i have him permatracked i'm shooting his fucking track wheel Bro, is anyone gonna get a light over here? Is this even is this hawk gonna light someone? Bro, if I loaded gold right now, this 257 would be literally dead. Yeah, okay, I'm loading gold because how dare I play World of Tanks without uh, loading gold? 
Oh, it's turned green now. Yeah. I had to miss my shot because I didn't want to get shot by the RHM. Shit. And actually, good tier 9. They're gonna cap. Can we have them not cap? No. I'm fighting a T95, a T10, and an RHM, and I have zero help from anybody. No! Oh my the E75's God, leaving me! Come back! Five oh seven. Fuck off. Double shot him. I was trying to kill the RHM. But here he comes. Aha. Well, now I'm dead. Oh, too late. Oh well, rip. No, I bounced. All right. Finally, I'm going to show you that even in a tier ten game, you can still be confident and make this tank work. This though. That would be afraid that much if my gun worked. There we go. Oh. Oh. Intelligent cacks. Hey, yes, sir. He can pen my turret, like, with ease if he loads gold, so I just gotta hope that he doesn't. <gasps> he shot AG. <laughs> Thank you, T95. I will take that. Bro, gunner just <laughs> faints. Minus 37, also minus one gunner. What are these enemies doing? Look, I'm gonna make it look like I'm not looking at them. I know I'm permalit, right? Come on, guys. Yes, sir. It worked. No way he pokes again. Okay, gun? That shot will go over there? Hello? This Coons is very intelligent. There's nothing I can do though, I'm dead now. I can get one more shot of damage. I mean, it was a good game for tier 10s. Victory. The 7 3 is just overall probably one of the best tier 8 premiums, only really challenged by Barask, Progetto, and OP tanks like that. It's gun, armor, mobility, it's just all unmatched, and honestly, playing it just feels like cheating. If you want, guys want a part 2, this was all recorded in one day. I can do a video with more cherry-picked games, super high damage numbers. Tell me in the comments below. Anyway, enjoy watching Bagman get sacrificed. Yeah, you first. No, no, no go. Um, I got... Oh, wait, the little yeah, range no right shit. there. No, the... proxy. That's what I got. Most intelligent Bagman. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted you to do.